In this class, we are going to learn how to remove the duplicate records or redundant data and filter the data and show to the user with the help of Mapper in Oracle integration. So we are going to achieve this with the help of for each group accessibility function. We have already covered this function in our earlier classes, but with the help of the code view. With the Oracle integration 3 latest release, we could see this function right here in the XSL constructors that is under the flow control. Earlier when we covered this concept in 2023, so this function that is for each group was not available, only for each was there. Now before I go ahead and show you how to make use of for each group, let me give you the problem statement. So if you consider a mapper something like this, we are just mapping with the help of for each whatever we have over here first name, I'm just concatenating and mapping over here student name and the final result. I have created a sample data over here and I will just run this. In the output if you see, we are having multiple students over here. So when we have Rajesh A pass, Rajesh B fail, Abu Sheikh pass and Abu Bakr pass. What if I am having the same student once again over here like Abu Bakr as pass. What our mapper will do is it will show redundant data or the duplicate data. Even though we have to see the student information only once we are seeing the same student result twice. So we will learn how we can remove this redundant data with the help of for each group. I am going to delete this target node. Click on delete. So what I will do is I will go to the flow control and will just drop it over here. So before dropping, I'm just creating the target node over here. Once we have created the record, what I will do is I will go to the for each over here under the XSL constructor, drag and drop it over here. Like we map for the for each normal for each, we have to map these records to for each group. Done. Next, we have to tell based on what parameter we want to group. I will tell I want to group based on the first name. Next, what I will do is I will map the first name over here. Also, I will put the concat. I want to show the first name space and followed by that the last name. Done. Click on validate. Next, I want to map the result to the final result. Done. So this is our mapper, how it looks like. I am grouping based on the first name and I am mapping the student and the final result. Just validate the mapper. Go over to the testing window. Click on this. So I will rerun this. Click on this. Run. Now what it is doing is since we are grouping based on the first name, what it will do is it will consider all these three records as a single person. Even though we our last name is different here, first two records are single person but it should have shown this person as well. Since we are grouping based on only the first name, it is considering all three students as single person. And here if you see first name is Rajesh for both the cases, last names are different. Since we are grouping based on the first name, it is considering both those records are the single person. Now how we can fix this? We have to go back to this mapper. Select this group by what we can do is right here the concat. Here we will concat and tell consider grouping the records based on the first name hyphen and then the last name. So you can put any logic over here, need not the concat just in order to uniquely identify the persons. So here since the first name hyphen a last name will be unique for every person. So we will be able to identify the records whose group by data is same. Now let me just go back to this testing window and click on test again. We are having couple of records for Abu Bakr. Now since we are grouping based on first name that is concat hyphen first name hyphen last name. It is considering those two records as a single person. So we are seeing Abu Bakr only once over here. Then we have Abu Sheikh and then we have she Rajesh A and the Rajesh B. So like this we can make use of the for each group function that is available under the XSL constructors and remove the redundant data in Oracle integration 3.